Given the fact that New York is a fundamentally important state for Bernie Sanders, the Occupy movement is launching a guerrilla campaign called Battle of New York in order to fight against the Clinton machine there and to help Bernie Sanders win. So Salon explains the idea the activists have is to subvert, even supplant, the mainstream media outlets in the days before the April 19th primary. They plan on creating, editing, and printing 500,000 copies of a special edition bilingual newspaper with the kind of compelling coverage mainstream media outlets rarely touch. And they are going to flood New York with the publication in the week before the primary. Now, Salon continues, the publishers of the Battle of New York have a lot of experience in this territory. Their guerrilla media campaign is based on the ones they helped lead during the Occupy movement, along Along with those in the 2003 protests against the Iraq War, the 2004 protests against the Republican National Convention, the 2014 People's Climate March, and today's Black Lives Matter movement. Now, this actually seems promising because all of those movements that they've been a part of have been wildly successful at getting media attention. So if somehow we can get eyeballs onto Bernie Sanders in New York, we can conceivably win this because right now we're facing an uphill battle against the mainstream establishment corporatist media propaganda machine that is constantly trying to help Hillary Clinton win. Uh, so if we can somehow counteract that with this, that would be fantastic. And uh, they can actually augment their campaign if they garner media coverage because of this uh, guerrilla campaign tactic. Who knows? But at this point, anything that's going to help is much appreciated because... We've got to pull out all the stops if we want to win. Now, at this point, Occupy has raised over 62000 uh, for their Indiegogo campaign. And there's also an interview that they did with Salon that will give you more specifics about New York. So I'll put links to both of those. If you want to help with that, you can visit their Indiegogo page. Uh, and look, this is fantastic. But here's the thing. We need to do any and everything. We can't just rely on them. We cannot become complacent. We can't afford to lose New York, basically. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so if you have any time... If you could phone bank for Bernie Sanders, if you don't have time, if you could donate to Bernie Sanders. And again, there are things that you can do to face bank where you will uh, you can contact uh, friends on Facebook that live in New York and encourage them to vote for Bernie Sanders. Any and everything you can do at this point is really, really important. Look, just because we won eight of the last nine contests, including the Democrats abroad, uh, it doesn't mean that we're guaranteed to win New York. And in fact, Bernie Sanders is trailing in New York right now. Now, many people will say, well, look, those polls don't control properly for younger voters. Uh, it doesn't include this, this, and that. We have to take those polls at face value, and we need to just accept them. We need to accept that he's down, and we need to act like he's down, even if that wasn't the case. So even if we saw a poll that put him five points above Hillary Clinton, we have to pretend like he's down. We have to act with the utmost urgency because we cannot afford to lose New York. Even if we lose by just five points in New York, that could be potentially devastating and even end his campaign just because how many delegates are up for grabs. And if she increases her delegate count, that's going to be really, really bad. Uh, so look, we've got to pull out all the stops. If you have anything you can do to help Bernie Sanders face bank, donate. You've got to do it. Now is the time because, again, I cannot emphasize enough that New York is very, very important. Uh, and if we can win this, then we have a lot of momentum going into the other delegate-rich states, such as Pennsylvania, such as California. So, guys, we've got to do everything. He's behind right now in the polls. We cannot allow him to lose New York.